I bet you're wondering why I'm holding one leg out while maintaining a quarter squat. That's right guys, I'm working on my balance and I'm working all kind of muscle groups. Muscle groups that I typically wouldn't be able to work in a regular plane or a regular environment. What happens now is I have to recruit all the finite muscles, muscles that typically wouldn't be able to activate in a regular quarter squat or hip abduction exercise. Now my core has to come in. Now my balance has to come in. All right, we gotta fire up neurons from our brain to that actual muscle so I can be active with all new muscular recruitment during this exercise. So right now I'm just focused on my core and I'm focused on my quads being activated, holding this position, trying to pick one focal point. My knees are in line with one, of each, one another as I focus here. We're gonna do this for one minute and I'm almost done my first minute already and I'm gonna switch it out. Find your balance. First get to that core squat, let that leg go out and start again on the other side and pull it tight. Remember, active core. Active core the whole time. Pick one focal point. Remember the knees should be in line with one, one, not one another as you maintain that balance. Coming all the way up. Hey, another challenge is actually explaining, to, explaining this to you while I'm keeping my balance. So you might see me stuttering here and there because I'm trying to keep my balance the whole time. I'm keeping active, biceps active. And guys, no, nobody's perfect. If you mess up, it's okay. Get back on that horse, keep going. Breathe. Good, focus. I got 15 more seconds on this side. I'm gonna keep my eyes on one thing, which is you right now. Staying balanced, keeping that core active. Five, four, three, two, one. Next challenge. We're gonna go ahead and get into a nice quarter squat this way. And I'm gonna pull that one leg back activating the glutes and then pulling up with the arms. So I'm getting that nice deltoid activation with the arms, nice gluteal activation, kicking that leg back, staying balanced the whole time. Pick that one focal point. Right now my focal point is right in front of me. My heel is back. My glutes are nice and engaged and my elbows go up high. I'm firing on my core at the same time. The more intensity I put towards the heel, the more active my glutes become, the more solid and balanced I am. So activating the muscle actually helps me stay balanced. Almost there. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Five more seconds here. Breathe, kick that leg back, hold it, and now we switch, good. Try to do the same thing with the other leg. Get to that quarter squat. Lock that heel back, push it back, push it back, push it back, active glutes, and now we pull up. And now I'm tightening up the core. Everything should be in one accord and balanced. Good. Hold it back there. It's funny because usually if you're on a, with both feet down, I can kind of tell what I want to work. Here, when you get off balance, you have to recruit new muscle fibers to stabilize you. And that's where the benefit of this workout comes in. Woo! Not easy at all, guys. Let me tell you, you have to really stay focused. And like I told you before, talking to you and doing this at the same time is not easy. Whew. Elbow high, core tight, fire up the hips, drive it up, and good. Next one. Something more for the tricep and the hip flexor. So we're gonna raise that one knee up. See if we can do this. Put that core in, tuck that belly button in tight. Activate those abs, straight up, straight down. Good. And now, my point is you. So I'm looking at you as I get my arms up, trying to stay balanced. And again, even though my knee is up and it feels like just my core is being active, really guys, the leg that's on the ground is working too. All right, because the glutes have to fire back there. No, you can't see that, but they're fired up right now to create that foundation. And now the arms are kind of being that extrinsic factor. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit, actually. Actually moving something else while maintaining your balance is what really creates the workout and makes it tough. Good. 
Go do it to the other side. I'm gonna put that knee up first, get my balance first, and then pull that arm up and try to finish out strong. This side is usually harder for me because it's just not my dominant side, but I'm working on getting better. I do this about once or twice a week just to fire up those, like I said, small muscle groups that you can't typically target in a regular workout. Woo! Told you it wasn't gonna be easy, y'all. Told you it wasn't gonna be easy, but we gonna stay there. We ain't losing today. I can't lose today. Woo! Come on. Five. Come on. Come on. Hold it tight. I'm gonna give you a little extra work on this one. Still breathing, still working. I think I got it under control now. Let me tell you something, the abs, get a workout during this one too. Woo! Oh man. Try it out for yourself. You can do it with the total body band. It's a great, great tool to really, really make it a little bit harder. But if you don't have one, you can do it with your own body weight. Challenge yourself, have fun with it. Enjoy it, guys. Another one from Tony Thomas Sports. Looking forward to working with you again soon. Make sure you go to that link, tap in.